Mr. Dwight Sanford, we're in a little bit of a strange place, get a little shadowy, a little this, a little that, but we're stepping back about 20 years, ETC's history. And Hans Rufert started behind a huge desk right here. And you see these roses? Did you send me these for the celebration? No. <laughs> I did. I don't know where they came from. I, I always keep them for celebrations. Today is a celebration. We are celebrating ETC. When you look at a local television station that started, I think one of the first things I reviewed on here was the Heart Fund. And you had been involved in the Heart Fund long before ETC was. Yeah, I did the Heart Fund show for 25 years. I did the sound and the uh, and helped with equipment, stage gear. When Morgan Cantrell first started yeah, Morgan, it? No, no, not no? that far back. Okay. Uh, that okay. was a long, long time ago. When but you were a little child. <laughs> during some of his time, uh, I did. I was already doing sound and, and uh, you know, providing systems and, and gear. And then uh, <clears throat> for a long time after that, too. So ETC basically started with things that were happening in the community from music to um, benefits to gospel concerts yeah. to sports. Sports yeah, is a big thing. Yeah, ETC is always involved in everything. Yeah, and tonight we're involved in something really, really big, and we hope that you will be watching at 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to be doing what ETC does best. We come live to you, and that is going to be really cool. At 6 o'clock, we're going to have all four candidates are going to be here on this stage and they're gonna be telling you why and why not you should vote for them. And it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be um, one of those things you'll want to tune in and you'll want to get to know your candidate. Yes, right? yes, right? absolutely. And then you will want to exercise your right to vote. One of the other things that ETC did is we would go out in the field and today we're gonna to share some of the things that we have done in the past we used to do live audiences, and you like when we have audiences in here, don't you? You like it's the more interaction. Fun. It gives yes. it a feeling, don't it? Yes, yes. It's more fun. Yes, it is. So, is it okay if people come by here? Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Every when we're having a show, yeah, about 10, 15, 10, 30, bust on in. Do we it. got comfy chairs. That's Hang right. Hang out, you know. It does make you <coughs> feel like you're interacting, and and you get response, immediate response, and that's one of the things. I love doing the live shows, and I, ha I brought some pictures in today that we're going to share because, you know, you've been around a long time doing music. Somebody actually, I posted the picture of you when you had long hair, and some lady said, I remember him when he looked like that. <gasps> well, I don't. There's, there's someone alive that remembers <laughs> that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. And I laughed about it because I said when you and I met, the first thing we had was a common denominator of silver 66 Chevelles. Yeah. And so today we're going to share some photos when we get over to our real set. because we're I thought do... she was lying. <laughs> Did. But she has a 66 <laughs> Chevelle on her Tombstone. headstone. <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's been there for many, many years. years. Than, until I saw that, I figured it was all lies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I pull out my iPhone and said, there's my car and there's me when I was 28 years old. So it's, it's just, it's been a love forever. One of the things the Davis brothers did when they were here at ETC in the early years, they always drove up in that old pickup truck. I know, I know. And everybody loved that. Now, when we did the parade up in McKaysville, everybody loved, loved Jim, didn't they? Oh, yeah. He I made said. a really cool impression, and you got to meet some folks up there. We got to spend a little time mm -hmm. with Ron and Shirley. Very good people up there. Good people, and yesterday was Coach Ron Singleton's birthday, so happy, happy belated birthday to you. I hope you had a great day. I know that this is a tough time of year for them, and these roses were actually done in a tribute years and years ago when we did a tribute to don't drink and drive. Please, as the holidays approach, do not drink and drive. You are a water drinking man, is mm -hmm. that correct? He doesn't drink coffee, he doesn't drink Cokes, he drinks water. Water. If you choose to drink and you're at a party, you better not be driving because you could end the life of a family. And today we're gonna to show you a photo of Grady Anderson, who was one of the victims of that horrific wreck that killed Brady Singleton. Please, please think about what you're doing. As a, as a former police officer, you know what it's like to work a DUI scene, don't you? Uh-huh, many of them, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And to have to contact the family oh, and gosh. say. Yeah, I've done that many times. Yeah, and, and that's what, you know, you're, 
negligence and your stupidity could end the life of somebody. And yeah. so it's, it's very important that as the holidays approach, you have a good time, you celebrate with your family, and if you choose to drink, you do it at home and you stay at home. Here's a good line. Remember this, folks. If you've been drinking and you're just really sure that you're okay to drive, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Let that be your sign. You're exactly. not okay to drive. Exactly, exactly. So, so today we want to celebrate life. We want to celebrate what you're going to do with your family. We want to celebrate those that you're going to spend time with. And we want to remember those that are gone on. And uh, that's the other thing that's great about ETC. You know, we've done telethons here, raised a lot of money. We've raised awareness of um, battered and abused women. We've raised awareness with children who have been neglected and, and children who end up in the foster care. ETC has been a monumental part of the growth in all the counties no, no. we serve. No, no. From Polk County, It's just County, the real Tennessee. deal. It's the real deal. Yeah, right? yeah. You see people you know. It's, it's local stuff, and they are local. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, yeah. They're local. Yeah. Yeah, you don't walk in there, and you're talking to somebody from New Jersey. You, I know. <laughs> and I am. You go, Mr. Sanford. <laughs> Ain't none of that. No, you no, call no. ETC and you'll get somebody you know. And Oh, and by the way, they answer the phone. They do. Yeah, they, they pick do. it up and say hello. They do. They do. Yes. Well, today I have a little presentation for a very, very special young man. Uh, recently we had a change of staff here and um, lost a dear loved one. And um, Trace stepped in. And it's been hard for Trace because he was trained by the gentleman who, who is now no longer among us. And... Um, he kind of, huh, you know, it was like, I got to take a breath. I got to realize that I have this position. I have this job. He watched the program from the time he was a little bitty boy. And he said, I always wanted to work there. And so now I'm going to step away. And he does work here now. And last week, you were honored to have. I'm holding my tummy in. Is it, is it going OK? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you about this man. OK, I made spaghetti for the crew. He doesn't eat carbs. I made coconut cake. He doesn't eat cake. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with this guy? Know. You know, have you ever seen a man that doesn't eat junk? OK. You want to know what I had for breakfast? What'd you have? Raisin bran. All bran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's an old geezer. <laughs> All bran and a banana. OK, Trace. Let me tell you what you mean to us. You are our go-to guy. Yeah. You had to step in and learn quickly. I did. And it was one of those things you were kind of back up for the guy who left, and you he taught you what he could. Yeah. He was amazing. And now you've had to step in and become amazing very yes, quickly. Yes, I have. I've been trying to do the best that I possibly can. And he does a you great do job. Too. He Thank does a great job, and we appreciate you. We and thank you very much. We know how much your grandparents mean to you, mm -hmm. and they mean a lot to Dwight. And so for today, we want to honor you wow. with a little something that you can put wow. on your wall. Is that not the coolest <laughs> that is thing? Wild. Wow. Is that not cool? That is cool. And that was yes. when your grandparents visited with us last week. And you just hang it up. So is thank that cool? Thank you very much. Yep, yep, yep. Thank wow. you for doing the job you do. And thank you for being here. He's always early. He yes. always does what yep. he's supposed to do. You are the man, Trace. And we appreciate what you do. Yep, so thank you. Welcome. I appreciate thank it. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate thank you. it. Is thank you sweet? Yay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break. And when y'all come back, we're going to be right over there where the lighting is good. We look younger in better lights, don't we? And, and I don't have to hold my tummy in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, we're going to take a commercial break. Please remember our sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't be here. We'll see you over there in just a couple of minutes. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. We're on the set that I like because the lighting's better. I look younger over here. I just went down 10 years from coming across the board. Yes. That's what happens when you first start TV. You learn a little bit. And we learn that this color behind us works well, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. That's what it works and right it that was even, my idea, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, sure. And it makes you look like you have hair. <laughs> I don't think it does that no, well. But let me tell y'all, you're about to see some pictures of us, and he used to have hair. And I used to have hair, and I used to be skinny, and he used to have hair. Now, boy, ain't that a combination and a half. So we're going to show you some of those. The guys have got that, and I'll tell you a little <laughs> bit about the past. Look at that. <laughs> That's us at the same age. Are now, you going to let me funny? tell? <laughs> Are you going to let me tell about this guitar sometime? Yes, yes, I want you to. All right. Now tell me about it. Now. Oh, now? Yeah, look yeah, at well, it. Well, There's that a, guitar. Yeah, there it is. I'm holding it there at the age of 18. I'm holding it as we speak. Yep. At the age of not 18. Yep. <laughs> and uh, in 1964, Guy Bill Wiley, he was married to my aunt. I guess he's my uncle. Mm -hmm. Aunt Lola May. One evening he came in from work. I was down there. And he brought this guitar in. Wow. That's how long this guitar has been around. Wow. All, just a whole, just about most of what I know on guitar, I learned on this very neck. And uh, this is a, I think, what do you call it? It's a 414 silver tone, I think is what it's called. I may have that wrong. But it was made by Sears. I, I was going to ask you, I remember well, that it wasn't in the made Sears by catalog. Sears, actually. You know how that works. But it was in the Sears catalog. Actually, yeah, I know. Yeah. Dan Electro is the company that made this guitar. And they, uh, uh, Sears sold them with silver tone on them. And all through the years, it stayed at my house most of the time. <laughs> and then when Lola Mae started to die, she gave this guitar to my daddy, her mm, brother. Mm. And what do you suppose she thought daddy was gonna do with it? Yeah, yeah, and he did. Well, it's got a home, it's here now, and uh, I've had it, it's a good guitar. Well, y'all know, if you're a player, you know what these are, you know. It's the Jimmy Page lipstick pickup uh, cool. thing, and uh, everybody loves them. 1964. I know it. I love wow. this thing. How Plays cool. great still to this day. It's got some paint worn off of the neck here. You want me to tell you who wore that off? Um, let's see now. <laughs> let's see now. Yeah. Can I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Gary D4. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Dwight Sanford. <No. laughs> It was me. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, they call it character. And that was before you were Mr. LJ. That was when you were just plain old, plain Jane Dwight Sanford. Let, let's not cover <laughs> everything that I was called. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Back in those days. Now, those days began here in LJ at the Red Dot, at the Rebel Inn, at an old club on 64, and where else? And at the skating rink? Skate Lord, rink. I played all around. Played up in Chattanooga, Dalton, all around. I seen some of the darndest things happen while I was on stage. And you're going, 
Oh, oh no. I mean serious stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. bad things. Did you stop singing and run? Yeah, a time <laughs> or two, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Some of it was up in Turtle Town, I saw that bad. Mm -hmm big things and uh, it, it, it got even worse too. I was playing in Dalton one night at the downtown, the downtowner, the downtown motor Inn lodge. Uh -oh. We called it the downtowner. Yeah. And we played one week and another band played the next week. And we were playing and a guy shot and killed another guy. Oh my god. With a 44 Magnum. Oh right man. Out that's there. dead. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. dead. Yeah. It's awful. Not good. Not good. Well, when we look back... I didn't go back there. <laughs> you didn't go no. check on it? No. No, I, I didn't go back there and play. I, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get you out of that place. You told you wanted your $20 to your dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Golly, when we look back at what has changed in this area, is it not crazy? All the new stuff, all the new people, all the cool stuff coming into town and all of the people who still love those old memories. And that's one of the things we're hearing from a lot of people who said, one lady, I posted the picture of him with hair, and she said, I remember that. And I said, really? And when did you cut your hair? When did you start cutting your hair? I didn't cut my, is this a joke? <laughs> no, did it just fall out? Is this out? another one of your jokes? <laughs> just fall out? No. Yours turned gray. Yes. And mine you... turned loose. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And what little bit's left's been gray for a long, long time now. How old were you when you started going bald? Uh, about, uh, about 17. No. Uh-huh. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Wow. My mom used to say, if you don't quit wearing them caps all the time, you're going to be bald. And, mama? Was right. She was right again. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure the cap did it, but I'm bald. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daddy said, he used to always say, someday you're going to shine. <laughs> and, he, and you did. Now, uh, Daddy and Mama, this is Christmas, and I know the music that you write often reflects family, places you've lived, things you've done, and we've been sharing a lot of, a lot of that lately. And one of the things I love about you is your giving heart, and I love what you do for special friends. So today we've set up something that was produced here at ETC many, many years ago, long before I knew you existed, and it's called Special Friends. And it has some of the people who were at the event a couple of Thursdays oh, ago. Oh, darn. And you're going to get to see just a few They're minutes of it. They're not just special friends. They're my best friends. Yeah. They yep. are great people. Some of the cream of the crop. Yes. And uh, we actually got to go um, up to South Carolina and interview radio. Have you seen the movie Radio? I know you don't watch movies. I've seen. We've been over this before. But did you watch the whole movie? I've seen Thunder Road. No, this is radio, the special gentleman. The point is, I haven't seen any movies. <laughs> none. None. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this. I watched Thunder Road because it's got a lot of 57 Fords in it. And it's black and white. Yeah, it's a black and white <laughs> movie too. Yeah. But we, we went to interview radio, and he was like 64 years old when we interviewed him. He died just a couple of years ago. But it also includes our special friends who came here at ETC, and we know a lot of them are watching today. So we want to share just a few minutes of this thing. Hannah Baker Towns actually edited it. Freddie shot the footage of it, and I did the interviews, and we just had a great time with a very, very special group of folks. Here we go. Okay, all right, we're going to, just a second, we're, we're working on some new stuff, so hold on just a minute. We got new stuff? Uh, yeah, we got all kinds of new stuff in there. We Can got, I say something? Now? Yes. Been getting lots of uh, thumbs up on that song, uh, My House of Prayer. Everybody mm -hmm. just loves it. You better thank Charlie May. It's a great That's song. That's his song. <laughs> it's a good one, and I, I was honored to get to do it and, and do what I did to it. But it's, it's, it is a good song. Guess I'm what glad y'all like it. I listened to it 6.30 this morning, that song. You listened to my on house On YouTube, of yes, on YouTube, mm -hmm. that you had done last week. And I never, lived it. Yeah, wonderful song. Wonderful song. We've got, we have a disconnect going on, and we're trying to cut. So y'all just have to hold on a minute. Can you plug yourself into uh, something that goes loud? You can't, can you? We don't have anything. No. It's just for show. It's just for show. What a guitar. But you, you have love any it. idea how long? You know how many hours I've put in on this? Yeah, I know. 
We're ready. Okay, we're going to take you there. how come I don't know anything about football? <laughs> or baseball, yeah. or fishing, or uh -huh. hunting, uh -huh. or travels. Yeah, but You're I can ride a bicycle. <laughs> can you ride a bicycle? I can ride a bicycle. <laughs> I can go. ride a bicycle backwards. Can you really? I can sit on the well, handlebars. Well, see, as big as this studio is, we could do that could one do that. day. Yeah, y'all would I like I can ride that. one sitting on the handlebar. You remember Lester Maddox? Yes. He used to do that. He's my uncle. I do it. Yeah. <laughs> to do that. Yeah. We're going to bring that bicycle up. All you have to be thankful to for it. there is I never was the governor. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. <laughs> okay. Remember, you don't always have to agree with everything I say. I know it. Yeah. I love after watching that picture of me with black hair. It's funny. Look at this white-headed old lady sitting here. So it's kind of weird. I, I know. <laughs> this picture of me is laying here holding this. Y'all. 1974. Look. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little difference. All you can do is just be glad you're still around. Oh, honey, tell me yeah, about it. You know. All right, here we go. Let's go to our special friends. Welcome to Anderson, South Carolina. We are near the field, T.L. Hanna High School, where famous football is played every Friday night. Now, we hope every Friday night is a winning night for T.L. Hanna. We are talking to two men who are definitely both winners. Um, if you haven't seen the movie Radio, then you've been under a rock somewhere because I've told you and told you and told you. Go rent it, go purchase it, get it, watch it. Every single chance you get, watch the movie Radio. What? We're going to interview two gentlemen. If you've seen Radio, you know what it's all about. You know the great story, you know the great message, and you know the great hope for helping others. Um, we tell you every single day, do a little something that makes a difference in someone else's life. Today we have traveled to Anderson, South Carolina to celebrate a very, very special birthday. Happy birthday, Radio. Thank you. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Coach Jones, thank you for allowing us to do this. Well, we appreciate y'all coming thank on. Thank you. This is, uh, it's a very special birthday say, for Radio. Thank you. 64 years old, and you're still at the ball team every Friday night. You're yes. still on the field, right? Yeah, on the field like a Josh, right? On now, the field. Coach Jones, when you retired, did you worry about not being here to be with Radio? Well, one of the big worries was, you know, what would the new coach would be? Would they uh, carry on, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, worried about that because once I left, uh, radio quit coming to practice. Mm -hmm. So I had to, had to go out and bring him out and tell him, hey, get on back on the field. Mm -hmm. It took a while, but, it, but everything went smooth after mm -hmm. that. And, uh, they took care of him and went to all the ball games. Now, you know, radio is, uh, when I was here, radio would stay on the field, the sidelines at the home games the whole time, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But now, about halftime, he, he comes with his backpack and all, and coming on up and stands with us. Uh, so, right. so, I mean, I guess he's not, when he comes out and busts the banner, mm -hmm. he's slowed down, he's slowed <laughs> down, <laughs> man. At 64, he can slow right. down just a That's little right. bit. Yeah, it's time Book for semi-retirement. That's right. Yes, I'm ready, Now, because of your relationship with this Book wonderful young man, you uh, are... Uh, Angie who? Are you involved in Special hey, Olympics? Angie who? Uh, yeah, you hey, know, well, if I, I go down to... Uh, huh? We call it Special Populations here. That's uh -huh. uh, Area 14 here. Uh, special I, go down in, I go down there in summertime. Mm -hmm. Radio so, has always participated in the Special Olympics. Okay. Now, somebody told me you've taken up bowling. Is that right? Yeah. Are you good at bowling? Yep. Good for you. I see that. Special Olympics. Shirt on. Uh -huh. Hello, you got your bowling shirt on. <laughs> now, um, when I'm you retired, bowling. did you, you loved football, and that was one of the things not you instilled the, in the media. Not all the pins down. You loved football more than anything, but you fell in love like with a young man off the field. Right. Hey. His I relationship bowling. with you had to have totally turned your life around. I lost all the pins down. It did. One time, ball, one time I bought with him good. First, we, you know, I, I don't want to go to He just kept coming back to practice, you know, mm -hmm. and he showing up at practice. practice. Couldn't understand a word he said. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, you know, it took, it took years before we could actually really understand, or he could even 
uh, say our names. Right. So, you know. It, Okay, that is a reminder. ETC has been producing things about your community. Special Friends was something that we did about 12 or 13 years ago. And we, we actually went up um, and interviewed Radio and Coach Jones, and then we brought in our special friends from the Burnt Mountain Center down in Jasper, and they love to come to, here to ETC and sing. So I hope that we will get the um, We'll get it out and re-air it again during the winter months. It's a great time to sit down and get to watch it because they would come and we had about nine of them who would do music. And you know how much you love when you're there with them, how much they love to join in and sing with you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And, and they remember time. the words to I stuff. Know, I know. It blows my mind because I, I can't remember them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? <clears throat> so how cool is that? How cool is that? And what a difference music makes. What a difference. Now, was that you sitting on the piano this morning playing? I can, uh, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're the person who doesn't play the piano? Yeah, I don't play piano. Yeah, he doesn't play the piano. But I was back there doing some stuff, getting ready for today, and I thought, oh, that sounds so familiar. And then I realized it was the man who doesn't play the piano. So, hmm. We're going to feature a little bit of this music today. And this music is also going to be available on WLJA. So, WLJA. Uh, you, you already know that? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to Randy this morning. I'm taking it to him this afternoon as soon as I get off the air. Jingle My bell, favorite, of course, is number 10. Favorite is number 10. I love the uh, Christmas and Dixie. Love that. And you love your favorite? Uh, that's my as far as production goes, that's my best CD right there. Uh, and it's, uh, I like all the songs, but Jingle Bell Rock stands out. Is that the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then the one Astrid does. That's it? Oh, No, yeah. Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night. Oh, yeah, yeah that right, is yeah. amazing. She's great. She's absolutely great. And, uh, and Christmas in Dixie is the one that I love the most. I love it, I love it, I love it. But anyway, it's gonna be available on WLJA and uh, to listen to, oh, to yeah, listen yeah. to, yeah. And that's cool because, and I love the thing, this morning I tuned in and you can call them from 10 to 12 and you can request songs and I like to request those old songs. Cause do you like old music? Yeah. That's the only music I like. Yeah. I like old music. Keep and take your nasal country, folks. <laughs> Can't be doing it. No. No. No, you like that old country. And they, they specialize in that old gospel. And this morning they were playing some really good ones. And I thought, gosh, i got to call Randy back. I forgot. So, so anyway, you are going to get to hear some of your music. And, uh, you know, the music makes the man because that is your life. You been in the studio lately? Yeah, last night. He's been working. You know why? Somebody's been whining and moaning because yeah. fan favorites is not done. One thing I've learned about that studio, if you're a guy who has a little stuff in your basement like me, <laughs> one thing to always remember, this is very, very, very important. Don't work four weeks and have 24 tracks done on a song you can't sing. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that, but I've done that. Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, don't call musicians in from no telling where to get it all put together on a song that you can't, can't sing. sing. <laughs> oh, no. And what song might that have been? I ain't telling. <laughs> he was a little bit disappointed. Were you mad at yourself? Well, you wonder. You know, the first thing you do is you put down that rhythm track and you see if you can sing it. <laughs> And you're going, maybe not? Because when you get my age, there's some you can sing and some you can't sing. And depending on who you ask, I might not can sing any of them. But anyway, yeah. uh, don't, don't work all that and do songs that you can't sing. Figure out first if it's for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those, how long did it take you to figure that out? How much time did you waste? I did one big old song, big old production, big bunch of tracks, and figured out I couldn't sing it. And after that, I got to watching my business. <laughs> it just took one to break me. <laughs> yeah, because that's a lot of time yeah. and effort for You nothing. get in the vocal booth, and you try and try, and it's not working. <laughs> and you're like, what And you're like, well, what about all this work I did here? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and then uh, you remind yourself, you did that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, watch. Be careful. Make sure you can sing the song before you mm -hmm. put a big production Makes into sense. It. Makes sense. Yeah, even I can understand that. Well, we've got chairs set up here because tonight the people who are coming, we're not. There's not going to be an audience here, but they will bring one person per, you know, per candidate, and um, it's going to be really cool tonight that you will get to see live the interaction with these four candidates that are going to be who, running. It, it, it's Brian Pritchard, uh, Sheree, Sheree Ralston, Ralston, and a, a Chastain guy, Mr. Johnny Chastain. Johnny Chastain. We Chastain. saw him over at the restaurant the other day. Remember is, he is came Sam over. Is Sam Snyder in on this? No, uh-uh. He's not running. Right. And um, what's the other one, Tim? There's there's one more who, um, Tim? Can you answer me? Tim, Tim, Tim. He can't hear you. Tim, come here, come here. What what's the other candidate's name? All of them. The one, what's the th fourth candidate's name? Richie Stone, Richie Stone. Yeah, smart military, military career. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, okay. And he's, he's gonna be here. So all the candidates will be here. And that's the cool thing about having live TV. They'll be sitting here and they will be kind of like we are on the spot. You have to answer those questions and you have to know what you're doing. Who taught you to do that? It was me. No, who taught you to do it? Who really? Who started playing? Yes. My mommy. And who taught mama? I don't know. Isn't that strange that that just, yeah. she just sat you down and you did it. Um, we're gonna go now to a family that um, you might remember them, you might recognize them. They used to be here one Tuesday a month until health issues started happening with her parents. And we did live events with the Bridgemans. So we're gonna take you to a little short trip up to Heart of the Home. You would have loved these live events because a lot of audience, a lot of people, a lot of interaction. And you like interaction. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna start filling this up with people? Yeah. As long as we don't- I would be fine As long as we don't do a dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Cause then, the, the, you know, you can, yeah, interact like you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, it adds to it. It does. It, it, it does. You, Absolutely. You get ideas from it and all kinds of cool Absolutely. Stuff. So we're going to take you to one <clears throat> of the last events that we all got to do together in Fannin County, and um, it was about 12 years ago. And just sit back, and, and the thing that was such an honor to me, a little lady who was in a wheelchair had her one of her family members bring her so she could meet me and I said that's what live TV is about when those people will get up out of their homes and come to where you are to get to meet you that's pretty special so here we go eating nobody else is eating but Bill would be now we've got preacher Matt here because Matt is my Tuesday co-host on North Georgia now today today's program is a special thank you to you Thank you for the years you have given me. Thank you to the loyalty. Thank you to the positive things they come in and tell you. Yes. You, at, as the owner of the Blue Star Supermarket, is there a day goes by you don't hear something positive about the program? Not one day. Not one day does somebody not come in and say something good or ask for a prayer request or, or mm -hmm. something. That's right. Now, Angela, what? talk about prayers. You have been badly in beating cancer. Beating, the big C word. We don't say it. Don't no say it. Prayers have been answered. Prayers, cards, you know, every time I get down, I have a stack of cards from people. And on my downest days, I'll just sit there and reread them over and over. Mm -hmm. And all the prayers and the blessings is what gets you through the hard time. What have you seen change in my life this year? The last time my beautiful daughter appeared with me on television, and it is such a treasure, such a, such a treasure, such a treasure. You know, we were lucky enough that um, there was a group from up in Fannin County that Angela fell in love with called Back to Bethany, and they were there that day. There were so many people there that day. We had a great audience. We gave everybody lots of samples of food, and we just had a really, really good time. But when I was watching the playback, I realized many of the businesses that were involved did not withstand the depression that we hit. Do you remember that depression we hit? Oh, eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people lost a lot of businesses, a lot of businesses have closed, and then new people are coming in and trying to start over again. It was really, really tough. And um, when I realized I was watching that playback last night, and I just thought, gosh, they didn't make it through that time. 
a lot of folks didn't, but uh, today, please shop locally. Please support local companies. Do you know ETC's been around a hundred years? I know that. A hundred years. They have their old Dodge truck that they yeah. had way back. Yeah, yeah, what over a hundred years. I guess it was a, probably about a 54 model, 52. Mm -hmm. That black one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they used it yeah. then. Yeah, it, it's just crazy, y'all. They have made it through the recession, the depression, everything else. And it's because they provide great service and they provide a product that, you know, is top of the game. And one of the reasons they do, when fiber came into being, they were on top of doing everything they could to get you the best possible Wi-Fi. And that's that's important, you know. Technology is important to them. And, well, they and nailed it. They nailed it. And their idea is to revamp and to keep growing and keep getting better. And that's what it takes, you know, and it takes learning and practicing and you practice, you, you can play anything, but you practice all the time. You'd think if you're a perfectionist, you wouldn't need to practice, but you practice. Oh, you gotta practice. You gotta practice. And practice don't make perfect. No? Hmm. Perfect practice makes perfect. Ooh. Okay. Do y'all- You can practice and get good yeah. at doing the wrong thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh. So. Uh oh. Do you know what the deal is on your CDs? Do you remember the price? It's five for forty-five. That's right. Five for forty-five. And they've been a moving well, and we thank you. Hope yeah. you're enjoying them. Yeah. Yay. I love when somebody comes in and says, "Well, I've wore that now. And I need to get me another." One. I know. That's my favorite thing. Here's I another one you hear a lot too. Uh, my daughter got that, and now I don't know where it went. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So again, and uh, I will. I don't know. This week is going to be weird weather, y'all. We don't know what's going to happen. So if you need CDs before Christmas, pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. And we'll have to chase each other down because, did you hear tell about the weather that may be coming? They've been telling it. Thursday night, about five degrees. Some people I know say, all oh, them weathermen don't know what they're talking about. Well, let's wait till Thursday night and see if they know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is going to be interesting. <laughs> Don't you love old people? Yes, yes. And and we know that I can tell the weather by my knee. Have you got anything that hurts when the weather goes crazy? No, I don't No. Know. Well, I'll be darned. I hate people that ain't got none of them hurts. Yeah, I know. My knee can tell the weather. It went through the dash of a car one time, so my knee can tell the weather. And a lot of old folks can say, I'm, I'm a hurting. I believe it's gonna storm. So it's gonna storm Thursday night. It's gonna storm a little bit of snow and a little bit of ice they're telling on the It's news. gonna snow now? They said light snow Thursday night. Ugh. And that was when I came in this morning. I watched it early this morning. And when they said that, I said, don't say those words. Don't say those words. Because people will be traveling to folks' houses. I know. And Santa. Does Santa Claus like to get out in the snow? He loves it. He does? Yeah, he's got that. Is that outfit he wears? Well, it's that, and uh, and there's that, uh, the red nose up there. Rudolph. So he, he can see exactly where he's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's got yeah. it figured out. Yeah. I just, if he could just figure out how to keep those oranges and candy and all that stuff on the sleigh, because a bunch of it fell off used to at my house, mm -hmm. and I'd run up the driveway and pick it up the next morning. How sweet. How sweet. How sweet is that? Pick up things that fell off the sleigh. Wow. Well, earlier we were talking a little bit about the holidays and how you Here, here we go. Look, look. It's, it's Christmas time, folks. It is. How about that? It is. It's Christmas time right now. now. Get up, everybody. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Can we play that? Yeah. Can we? What number is it? I don't know. What number is it? You're the you're the. I know master. the words to a thousand songs. Well, which song is it? I don't know. <laughs> Not good. I just barely remember We're saying play it. We're going a Christmas song now, and then we'll I think it's it. Jingle Bells, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see if this is it. We're going to go into Christmas music so we can get in a real Christmas mood because it looks like Thursday night. They're if laughing at us in If there. you're wishing for a white Christmas, you, you might may just get be it. getting you a white Christmas. And it's Christmas, a bit can, of I, can I say something now? Yes, sir. Christmas, seriously, folks, think about this. There are people who are not having so much fun on mm -hmm, Christmas. Mm -hmm. There are people who have sat alone 
and eat Chef Boyardee uh, spaghetti rock. and meatballs. Yeah, on you've Christmas been there. Day. You've been one of them, hadn't you? Didn't say that, but there are people who have yeah. done that. Yeah. And uh, you know, so seriously, it ain't always happy for everybody. Think about them, folks. Mm -hmm. Be happy, yeah. But just remember, some people ain't having it so good. There are people who have eaten spaghetti and meatballs. Chef Boyardee on Christmas Day. You know Pastor Scott Thomas, and he sent me a message last night and asked me to share it. And it was about that very thing, that there will be people who will be not feeling good that day and yep. need to be lifted. And if you're cooking and you're able and you know there's somebody who's battling depression or lives alone yeah. or just doesn't have the means to get out and do something, cook a little something extra and take it to yeah. them. That wouldn't hurt a thing, would it? Chef Boyardee, spaghetti and meatballs, on the little table that he had when he was a little boy. Mm. Wow. Wow. You're going to make me cry. Don't do that. <laughs> My eye makeup looks awful when I cry. Here's one thing. Uh, you, you can be alone but not lonely. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, that's the best part of that. Uh, being alone is one thing. Mm -hmm. Being lonely is another. Yep, yep. And there are a lot of folks fighting. And, I know. And right now we I have know. to keep them pumped up. So we're yeah. going to keep you pumped up with some good music from you. I think so. Which which one are we playing? Jingle Bell Rock. You like that Yeah, one? I do like Yes, it. Yeah, does. I do and love it. I think it might be my favorite one on there. It's such a pain to get done. Can you, you could stand up there in front of the fireplace and dance, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I could. Did y'all yeah. say that? I tell you what we'll do. We'll raise money for some really good cause. Yeah, and you'll dance. Here's what we'll do. <laughs> if you mail in money, I won't dance. <laughs> if you <laughs> don't send money, I'm dancing. Uh-oh, we're in no. now. <laughs> yeah, it's like I used to do, you know. We, I'd be up on the stage and I'd say, well, thank you all for coming tonight. We don't charge anything to come in, but we charge you to get out. <laughs> and that's how we make money. <laughs> all right, here I'm we I'm kidding, go. I'm not dancing and don't send money. <laughs> to a good, <coughs> a good song, Jingle Bell Rock. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a police man in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, and a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, 
and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There beneath the steel and stone, on a worn out sleeping bag, an old man sat there all alone, humming one by hag. The fire lit up his tired old face, his eyes shine in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10-4? I told him I'd be there a couple minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, he needed them more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road, and they're all up in heaven. He said, anyway, I can't play like before. My fingers don't work good anymore. If you'll let me stay here just tonight, I'll be gone by morning light. I stood a block of wood up on its end, and he handed me his only friend. I sat down there by the fire, and I played that old man's heart's desire. As he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, jumped his fire, and in my head, a scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love or even in just what disguise something opens up your eyes or when you'll have a visit from somewhere up above two c's ten a merry christmas lj some pictures of your Chevelle and my Chevelle. Can I point out something? Yes, sir. I'd like to say that that was Larry Stewart on steel guitar on Merry Christmas, Ella J. Beautiful. The best that ever was. He's a good one. And Beautiful. you know what I did? What? Forgot to give him credit <gasps> on the CD cover. Oh, no, you're fired. I'd have to be. I need to be fired. You know what trumpets say? Fired. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Old Larry came down and did, he did four or five of those songs on that Christmas album. Did you give him credit on nothing? Nothing, I forgot it. So we'll do it on TV. Good job, Larry. Good job, Larry. Good job, you good did job. great. Nobody's as good as Larry. He's good, Larry. Now is. you make me look smart, because sometimes I forget stuff, so It'd see? take a lot more than that, I think. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get serious for a minute. Yeah. Drinking and driving over the holidays don't do it. can change a life forever. We don't want you to be drinking and driving. We don't want you to be acting crazy. Drinking and driving is bad, but speeding ridiculously is really bad too. And a car passed me coming up here last Thursday. They were running about 95 miles an hour. Mm. I can tell you how I know. I ain't gonna tell you how I know, but I'll tell you how I know. They were running about 95, and I have never seen a car going so fast on a Thursday morning. Watch what you're doing. Be cautious. When you're running 95 miles per hour, mm -hmm. and you have to hit a really big oak tree, mm -hmm. it hurts. It hurts. Worse. Or you have to slam into the back of a log truck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That hurts. Mm -hmm. So go slow. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. This this thing came around me, and honestly, I thought it was going to go airborne. And I was like, are you kidding me? And that's what kills y'all. So over the holidays, please be cautious. Please be protective of you and your family, and please don't drink and drive. We're going to show just a tiny, tiny little bit of Mary and Grady Anderson. 
two dear, dear people up in our Ducktown community. Everybody knows the story of how Grady and Brady were hit by drunk drivers. And sadly, Brady passed away that day and Grady severed, suffered terrible injuries that he was in the hospital over a month and a lot of you prayed for him and you prayed and it brought him back to a point, but he never regained everything before the accident. So here we go with just a little visit with Mary and Grady. It's about 30 or 35 miles drive each way, you know. And then in the middle of all this, happiness you had this gorgeous <laughs> daughter That's true. you had a beautiful daughter was one child you had one child did you ever want more children well listen i grew up during the great depression mm -hmm. and i didn't want to have more children than i could educate mm -hmm. and in fact the business is before mary and i ever bought a car we put money in the bank to educate her wow to make sure wow. that she would have but it was interesting. I only put a thousand dollars, but then when I went to college, I could go for three whole months, and I would pay for room and board, books, tuition, and all, for about seventy-three dollars. Oh my gosh! And then today, I, that wouldn't even buy your books for one course. Lunch. No. And then I, I worked. I had to work my way through. I milked cattle at the farm, and I also swept the dining hall twice a day. And for that, I got three, I got $10 a month, $30 for three months' work. So they applied that toward my tuition and all. So actually, it cost about $43 for three months. Wow. And so I, I put a, a $1,000 in, but when the time came for her to go to college, I wouldn't have got her front foot into the, no, <laughs> the no, door. So. No, Now, a really. lot of people know your beautiful daughter. And um, she is drop dead gorgeous, inside and out, <laughs> inside and out. Has she always been a special young lady? Yes, always. she has. Always. She's always yeah. been special. Yeah. Always. Well, and she also <laughs> became a teacher. Didn't That's she? correct. Yeah. My father was a teacher ahead of me. Okay. That's and so. did you encourage her, or did she just look at you and say, "I want to be like my dad"? No, she at first didn't think she wanted to teach, and she went and she went off and took uh, other. Just a reminder, drinking and driving change their life forever. You have a choice to make. Enjoy the holidays, enjoy time with your family, but do it responsibly. And if you think you're okay to drive, that's a good sign you're not. Yep, yep, yep. Not good, not good, not good. You know, um, it, it is that time of year that there will be a lot of people that are struggling and suffering. A lot of people are worrying about how they're gonna provide for their families. A lot of people are worrying about how they're gonna put groceries on the table. But we're all going to get through it, and then the new year is going to come, and hopefully things will get better for everybody. There are jobs available. If you're looking to work, pick up the phone and, and make a contact with somebody at the employment office. There are jobs out there, tons and tons of them. Don't let not having Christmas for your children um, affect your life. And, and people get depressed with it. It's really, really bad. So I know the Lions Club has done a lot to help people, and there are so many groups. The Lions and Ella J, can you, I mean, how much do they do? Something constantly. Everything. Constantly. I noticed that they had been taking applications to help people. So it's just, that's what it's about. It's about giving back and doing for others. They have a warming center. Is that, I don't know, is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. For this cold weather? If you need a place to stay warm, you can go. Is it, is it the Civic Center? I think so, yeah. You can go there and be warm these yeah. cold nights that's yeah. coming up. Yeah. And, and have hot food, yeah. There are going to be some... Are they doing that? Who's doing that? I don't know, but there are going to be some very cold nights, and they are going to be opening up. I heard this morning that they've already opened some shelters because the temperature won't be above freezing all day tomorrow. I know. But the sad thing is you can go into the shelter at 8 p.m., the one that I was watching this morning in Atlanta, and you have to leave at 8 a.m. in the morning. So sadly, even though it's only going to be a high of about 30 tomorrow, you will have to be out on the street with nowhere to go until they open the centers again. And so, you can bring your little puppy dogs, too. Mm, wow. Wow. Yep. Wow. Well, you know, we, we are and whatever, facing... And whatever other pets. We're facing some tough weather. Yeah, it's rough. We're facing something we haven't seen, and I think they said we haven't seen temperatures this cold in about eight years. The producer's looking at us funny. What are you looking at us for? <laughs> we want to remind y'all, we want to remind y'all, 6 o'clock tonight, live here on ETC, Please tune in and get to know the candidates. And again, the candidates are going to be putting themselves out there on the line for um, for your vote, for your... Lord, can you imagine how nervous they are? Yeah. Holy yeah, mackerel. Yeah, yeah. 
And I did hear one of the commercials this morning, and boy, you talk about a great commercial. And I was like, yeah, that was perfect. That was dead on. That was point on exactly what needed to be said. And I hope tonight that they all hit it. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting because we have a variety. We have three males and one female and um, all different categories of work that they've done. So, so you know, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. I know. But have you got it? You want to pick us off the air with a guitar that doesn't have an amp? <laughs> You've enjoyed picking that. Is the that show over? <laughs> just about. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think they can hear it. I'm just so here goofing off. It's crazy. You love that guitar. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, gosh, yeah. This, this has been around forever and ever and ever. Well, tomorrow we can analyze what you will see tonight, and we'll talk about what points do they hit on and, and what's important in your community. Maybe you should send us a list yeah. and say these are the questions we would like to ask the candidates because it's interesting. Everybody has different things they want. You know, We're all saying we need better roads. We're all saying we need traffic control. We're all saying we need uh, lower taxes. What are the other things that people ask for? Cheaper gas. Cheaper gas. Yeah, boy, cheaper yeah. gas. Thank and snap-on tools. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Why are they so expensive? <laughs> I don't know. And why do I keep buying them? <laughs> oh no. Thank you Gosh. for my gas. Somebody asked her that the other day <laughs> on Facebook. Says, name something that's too much, but you buy it anyway. Snap-on tools is what <laughs> yeah, I said. Because you love them. <laughs> you love them. Whew. Well, you pumped my gas, and nobody knows how bad I hate to pump gas. Hate to pump gas. And I said, it was kind of like an early Christmas. I got gas pumped and didn't have to stand out there in the cold. Pump your gas during the daylight hours before it's cold and dark and miserable, right? Yep. Because it's going to be cold, dark, mm -hmm. and miserable. Yep. And the... Back in my day, this is when you got up plenty of water. Mm -hmm. Get the mm -hmm. water up and get it in the kitchen mm -hmm. because it's going to be cold. Going to be cold, yeah. Yeah. Did I have to say that? No. Yeah, and remind but yourself. But do I care? I don't. <laughs> it's just exactly how I came up. <laughs> Toting buckets from yep. the spring. Yep. yep. Oh, I'm getting yep. cold thinking about mm -hmm. it. You know what time it is? Time to... Sh to you want to tell folks we're leaving? <laughs> we are leaving, folks. It is over. The show's over. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And remember... His baby. Got old baby girl here got with us Got his today. baby. That's the 414. right. Uh, lipstick pickup guitar. I don't know how much time do we have left. I need to keep 30 talking. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay, I can say a lot. In Thirty seconds. Yeah. Uh, wherever you go, there you are. And on the other hand, you got four fingers and a thumb. That's right. <laughs> He's crazy, y'all. We'll see you. Do again. something nice for people. Do something nice. Cook something like she said. Yeah, cook That's something. Right. You don't want me cooking something, but you need, you know. Do something and make them feel good. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. We're about to go meet two peach cobblers that are about to come out of the oven. Let's see what they look like. Bye, y'all.